Rebecca Deaver. I'm a first year engineer student at Purdue University. My project was to revitalize a homeless cemetery here in Louisville, Kentucky. It was falling apart and just trashed and there was no respect for the people that were buried here. I discovered this place and it felt like no one cared for them and they were forgotten. And I decided that I wanted to change this and I was going to fix it. I helped these people and their families by fixing the cemetery, getting new headstones for these people so their families and loved ones could find who was buried here and where they were. I got new signage for the cemetery, made sure that the shelter was fixed up and didn't have holes everywhere, got a new roof for it. I walked the cemetery and found who was buried here and where they were buried and made a database of who was here. I publicized this database on the internet called Find a Grave so people can now search for their loved ones online. Tell me about the process of the papers. One of the biggest things I wanted to accomplish in this project was to get headstones for people that didn't have headstones. There was 1,800 people buried here, and headstones are pretty expensive. It would have cost about $48,000 to get everyone a professional headstone. So me and my advisor came up with a pretty ingenious idea. We wanted to get concrete pavers for everyone. That way, everyone could have a, an expensive headstone. To get the funds for my project, I went to different councilmen in my area. They were very nice to me and really wanted to support me and did help me get funds for this project. I also really needed to test these headstones to make sure they would hold up at the cemetery. Me and my advisor made up one to see if it would work. We put it at the cemetery for about six months and it withheld um, all the elements. It did good when it was sunny and bright. It did good when it was rainy. It did good, you know, in Louisville weather that's nice one day and, you know, freezing and tornadoes the next day. The plans to roll them out, we have a local artist that is willing to do the vinyl lettering on all the headstones. We also have a Boy Scout to uh, put in all the headstones. Who's your advisor and what does the advisor do? My advisor is Laura Ryan. She works at the Metro Parks Department and she's the volunteer coordinator. She kind of helps with everything. Um, she's the one that put you in touch with the she gets me in touch with everyone that I need. <laughs> She's loving her. Oh, she <laughs> and it's also kind of sponsored by the Joseph of Arimathea Society. They do burials for the homeless. The times that I would walk out here, I think I had avoided the infant section till the very last. I think that was the one I had to prepare myself for. I don't think I wanted to admit to myself that there were infants that were just kind of discarded out here. You, you, you don't want to think of little infants, I mean, they, they haven't done anything, you know? The infants out here I think I took the most time with, like, I don't know, but it's hard. I know I think I took my entire spring break out here one year. Me and my grandpa would come out here every day four hours just walking out here. We would come and try to see who we could find out here. It was a matter of what names we could find and if they had a headstone. There was a lot of people that we found out here that wasn't on that database. And it was a victory for us when we found someone that wasn't on that database. Me and my mom were sitting at a cookie booth and I got an email from someone that had looked at the database. And someone said, me and my sister were really little when my dad died and you, had, you found my dad. We didn't know where he was and no one could tell, tell us. 
but you found him. And that was the greatest moment. I've had some people, I've had a few other people saying, thank you for doing this. I now know where other people are now. And it, honestly, that, that's what I've done it for. It, that's all. All of the work I've done, I've never done it for the awards. I've never done it for the recognition. I've always done it just for the people. The awards I've gotten, I'm very humbled to have gotten them. And I'm glad to have gotten them to get my story out there. What are you going to do when you're done here? When you're pretty, what are you pursuing? Have you thought about it? Honestly, I'm really looking at humanitarian engineering. I would love to do that. That's just me. Service is really a passion of mine, and I think it's my calling. Any specific things in mind now that you've helped Kentucky? You I, I don't know. We'll see where I go.